Eyewitness News is your local election headquarters, and tonight at 5.30, we're learning more about another big name in Rhode Island politics announcing his run for governor. Former state rep Joe Trillo announcing today that he's running. He's going to do it as an independent. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us now in studio with more new at 5.30. Steve. And guys, no one has ever said Rhode Island politics is boring. Even for a state, though, with a history of exciting elections, the 2018 race for governor is shaping up to be a good one. Here on the Matt Allen Show. 1 p.m., WPRO Radio's Matt Allen introduces his in-studio guest. The bomb just dropped. First, starting with prepared remarks, former state rep Joe Trillo, a decades-long Republican. I've been a Republican a long time. Announces he's running for governor as an independent. To win with my message in Rhode Island, I will need Democratic support, a lot of independent support, and Republicans. He pits himself against incumbent Democrat Gina Raimondo and the eventual Republican nominee by calling himself a populist candidate. Trillo tied his decision to run as an independent with his support for President Trump, a Republican. He says a Trump surrogate will come to Rhode Island to campaign with him in February. I'm running as a person who supports his policies, his ideas for this country. I think he's in the right direction. Trillo was expected to face off against Cranston Mayor Alan Fung and House Minority Leader Patricia Morgan for the GOP nomination. This changes everything for the general election. I'm not politics as usual. I'm for radical change in this state. This state is going in the toilet and it can't get deeper in it fast enough. You elect Gina Raimondo, you elect Alan Fung, you got the same old, same old stuff going to happen. Trillo said he wants to reduce the state income and estate taxes, as well as cut the sales tax and stop taxing pensions. The campaigns for Alan Fung and Patricia Morgan declined to comment on today's news. The state Democratic Party executive director said in a statement, Joe Trillo will surely be the first of many Republicans who are abandoning President Trump and the Republican Party's failed policies. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.